I don't know why I submitted to this, but Mike had already gone inside, so fuck it. Oh, Josh. Hannah's in the water. When the Hannah, Hannah go. Uh, oh! Yeah, I don't know. just the wendigo and it was just that spirit it would just eat josh like no. fuck this i want to eat josh i don't give a fuck but it's hannah with a spirit so maybe it makes her angry and maybe unreasonable and irrational and maybe that's why by the way there is actually a um a death totem of matt getting his face eaten off you have it so i want to try to avoid this as much as possible lighter would be nice a lantern would be nice. Swift. Ta da! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, Matt. Oh, Matt, you oblivious little man. You better throw that lantern. Or, you know what we're gonna have to probably do? Throw the lantern at one of these tanks or barrels or whatever they're called? And then just burning them to death. Which will work. Most likely. What caused that cave in? Some terrible shit. <sighs> How do I get through? I have to go through the elevator? Or maybe through this area? Can you look? F I mean, Matt, can you look forward, dude? Like, sheesh. Ooh. A totem of death? Or what? No, it's not. It's a guidance totem. Who is that? Hold on. I need to see who that is. I think that's Mike, actually. It looks like Mike. Yeah, it definitely looks like Mike. Mike burning himself. I feel like all of these totems now have to do with fire. So at least we saw that. And this is why I like exploring in the game, because then you get to see shit like that. Or in any game. Uh, what is over here? Nothing. What's over here? I don't like this. This feels like such a narrow passageway. The music is getting worse. Hannah goes, gonna get ya. That was that. Dude, run. Dude, run. Which way? Hide. Hide. We'll hide. That's fine. We can hide. We can hide. Just don't move. Just don't move. Just don't move. Okay. Don't speak either. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh. Yo, you are running way too fast right now for that shit. Break 
through. You got this. You're a fucking man. Go. <sighs> Don't move. Oh, dude, I don't even breathe when this shit happens. Yo, that is so horrifying. I feel like there's something I can't fail at. Okay. Sam, what the fuck are you doing? How the fuck did you get there? Hello? How the hell did she get there? I don't remember. Uh, climb. Since she's a fucking rock climbing G ass motherfucker. <sighs> climb round. Okay, we did it. Okay. Again, with these, like, action sequences, I feel like I cannot breathe. I have to be, like, so fucking mentally focused. If not, my reaction time is just garbage. Wait, should we go through here? What's over here? Seriously. Is there anything here? At all? Is there anything to look at? Maybe a totem? No totem? Which way do we go? Maybe the more we well lit path? It's not well lit, it's just sunlight and whatnot. Maybe. Oh! 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 What's that? What's that? Ooh, a totem! Yay! I was hoping I'd find one. This one looks like a moth or something. What is that? Danger totem. Uh, where? That looks like the lodge. That is definitely, definitely the lodge. So we need to be very careful about a when to go in the lodge. Need to keep that in mind. Okay. If we're heading up the lodge right now, up to the lodge right now, then it might be a good idea to keep it in mind. Telling you, Hanago likes to hide in the water, so I don't think this is a grand idea. I, but I don't have any other option. This is like the only path. Hanago is in the water, and you're gonna get frostbite. I wanna climb onto these shits, but I don't think I can. Hanago is in the water. Just don't move, just don't move, just don't move, just don't move. We'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Yo, Hanago is so close. I don't know if it's Hanago though, because why would Hanago be, be all the way over here? And Hanago is dealing with Josh right now. So what kind of one to go is this? Some sort of random one to go? Oh shit. Girl, do not break a leg. I do not need that right now. Controller for movements at the moment, so do not judge me. Uh. Oh, shit. That's the goal. Shit. Focus, focus, focus. How 
finish. Mike. Mike. Oh, gosh. Are you, you look okay? terrible. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. Where's Josh? Come on. Where's Josh? I thought he was with you. This is the worst idea ever. <laughs> Josh. Oh, that's right. Josh got taken by the Hannah go. Sorry. I what forgot. happened to Josh? I got him. God, what an awful way to go. Not good. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was like, do you really want to turn on the light? Do? But it you is true. Well, not really. Might be someone left down there. I was going to say that the Wendigo likes to hunt at night, so if it's if there's light in here, maybe they don't want to, but, um, no, I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're smart enough to realize that it's not nighttime. It's actually just electrical lights, so. But yeah, the room with the answering machine and the dining table, that is where Zivenzigo is, unfortunately. Well, I'm just gonna follow Mike. I don't know where the hell he wants to go, but I'm just gonna follow his ass. I don't know. I don't. I feel like it's pointless at this point to look for stuff. We've been looking in the lodge like three or four times already. Anything that we've seen, anything that we could find, we've seen before. Unless someone was in here and planted something new in here. Okay, he's in here. He's in here. Maybe it wasn't in here. Maybe, maybe it was in the survival. dining room. Maybe it was in the hmm? cinema room. I'm trying not to think about it. They have similar looking chairs. Oh! Go go go! go! Why'd you hold Hannah? I mean, Ashley. Lock the door, lock the door, lock the door. Oh, shit! Woo, girl. The skills, the skills. The skills are so fierce. The dining room has a fucking one. Go be careful, be careful, be careful. The dining room has a Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move. Don't fucking move a muscle. like has the best ideas except <sighs> she said yeah to do it she knows exactly what's going on the wendy was just ready might as well Switch. I don't know, I feel like that's right. <laughs> get the switch. Yo, that one is a safe. Oh, Ashley died. Like four people in 
one move. Wow. I personally cannot wait to play this game again. Yeah, visual. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. Quick! Hold on. I'm seeing something. It looks like there are survivors. Um. I, Let's I pick was going to say, I, I can't wait to play this game again. You kind of do everything for me. Um. Did Mike die? I, I, I didn't really want to kill Mike, of all people. I, I didn't really want anyone to die, honestly. Fuck! No! This is the end? No! Dude, no. Dude, no. This cannot be the end. There has to be something else. So they're showing us the part where everyone died. So Emily and Ashley died at the same time. Jessica died. No. Dead in there. I really, really... That's the part where he died? Oh, because I guess they put... Wendigo put his eye, like his fingers in his uh, eyes. The old man, I, uh, okay. I... I don't know how to describe him. I mean... You said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Well, Being interviewed yeah. by the police. <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you... He saved my life. And I watched him die. I was right there. Matt survived. I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. I thought we were close. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. Is she going crazy if now? you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. Um... Where's Em? Have you found Em? Yes, we have. What? Where? Where is she? Sir. I need to talk to her. You can't. She was that, in the lodge. I'm so sorry. What do you what do you mean? What do you mean she was in the lodge? In the fire. We Sorry. I know you missed the bar part of that oh sorry. I wasn't supposed to move. But I did. And he saved me. So it's my fault that he died. You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. Okay, so that seems to be the end of the game. I literally want to cry right now. I'm trying to hide, like, I'm trying to hold back my tears right now. But, fuck, like, I don't know. I don't know why I feel so emotionally overcome right now. I really don't know. Um, I have no idea. I really don't know what makes me want to cry right now. Is it because the game just ended? I don't know. Because, obviously, I don't have, like, any, like, feelings. Like, I don't have any, like reason to cry like no one really died i don't know i don't know it's not like any of those things where someone dies and you're just like fuck i miss them as a character or whatever and then you cry no it's not one of the situations i'm literally just crying because it ended um so yeah pulling back my tears a little bit um uh, i can't say that i'm happy with what happened I really can't say I'm happy with, this, with, with what happened. I can't say that I'm happy with all the people that died because of me or because of my choices or whatever. Um, I feel like some of them were blatantly my fault. I feel like others were not. I feel like some of them were like, why the fuck did that happen? But um, I cannot fucking wait to play this game again. 
And I have a plan, and I've had a plan for a couple of days to play this game again on Twitch and uh, play it through, um, I guess, on Twitch because um, I, I don't really see the point of doing a whole Let's Play again. Um, but I do want to do it on Twitch for that replayability factor where I can actually try to sort of help people survive as much as possible. And also I can just stream for hours and hours and hours and just play, which is kind of what I want to do. Um, dude, this sucks. I, I didn't really want the game to end like that, but I did assume it was going to end soon. But there's so many questions we still have left if you think about it. First of all, how, well, I do know how Matt survived. He got out of that area and into the mountains. I do know how Matt survived. Okay. Also, I want to know, um, Josh? I guess it's assumed he's dead. But what about the Hanago? Or the Hannah Wendigo? Like, what, what comes of that? Is she dead? I don't think she's dead. I'm pretty sure she's still in the mines. I guess that's why... Hannah, I mean, Sam said what she said that, you know, they have to go to the mines and that if they don't believe her, they will. Because if they go to the mines, they will definitely find Hannah there, um, which is the Wendigo version of her. And they'll just find so much evidence that was so untouched well, not untouched, but just left there that Sam found and everyone found that could get people to believe that the Wendigo is real, but at the end of the day, if this, like, if we were to connect this to reality, if this were a real situation in real life, would a cop or police officers investigate something like that? No. They're just going to assume that all these victims were mentally ill or that, you know, that it's all just a lie, just, you know, a bunch of kids on hallucinatory drugs and like that. Um, but that's not true. At least not in this story. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of upset that so many people died and I wish I would have saved more people and I can't wait to find out what would happen if I saved some people. Like, if Jessica was savable. I heard that you can actually save everyone. That it is possible to save everyone and help everyone survive. That's just mind-boggling to me because it's like, how are they going to alter the story like that? You know what I mean? Like, how are they going to let every? How is it going to work if everyone survives? That's what I want to see. So, I definitely want to make different choices. I want everyone to survive. And I know that Ashley and Emily and Mike could have survived that fire. Because of that one totem where I said, oh, it's the wolf, but it was actually legs. Those legs that I was talking about weren't there when the actual fire happened in the game. So that just tells me that everyone could have lived if something else was done differently. Which is awesome. And I need to get that done. So if you're interested in watching me play Until Dawn, which if you believe it or not, whether or not I have viewers or not, I'm going to play the goddamn game on Twitch no matter what. Um, but if you're interested in watching that version, um, please follow me on twitch.tv slash the lady Medina, the same way you see it here on YouTube. And if you don't want to follow me, but you still maybe want to check it out, you can follow me on Twitter. It's, um, my Twitter is twitter.com slash the underscore lady Medina. So the same way it's written here, except an underscore between the and lady. Um, and I will definitely tweet out when I'm going to start the stream. But as of right now, um, I think I'm going to take a tiny little break, work on some other stuff. Maybe within a week, I will start Twitch streaming until dawn. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I know barely anyone saw this, and it kind of sucks that no one saw this. And I hope one day that um, I'll have enough of a following that I can actually share this experience with someone. I really... I really, really, really want to share this experience with other people and share this game with other people that either haven't played the game or want to see my side of it, my perspective of it, or someone's pers perspective of it. So I really hope that one day a lot of people see this whole series, or at least some people. And 
I hope you enjoyed the ride. It was crazy. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy ride, but it was awesome. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.